As an extremely successful businesswoman and a specialist in the beauty sector, Sarisha Naidu won't claim to be able to stop the clock, but she certainly knows a thing or two about using time effectively and slowing down the effects of aging. She's always happy to share the latest ideas on wellness, beauty and business, so we synced our diaries to have some time together for an update. The beach looked inviting, but entrepreneur, wife, mother, philanthropist and all-round celebrity Sarisha Naidu had more important priorities, including keeping her finger on the pulse of the North Coast branch of a fast-growing lifestyle empire. Social media, filters and photoshopping apps have changed the way we see ourselves and not always in the best way. Businesswoman and philanthropist Sarisha Naidu's own journey with her self-image led her to tirelessly educating herself in the field of beauty. Today I'm at her Mshlanga Spa to find out more about that journey. Sarisha! Oh, it's so wonderful to How meet are you? you. Good, good, good. You must be thirsty. Yes. It's a hot day today. Come grab something. <laughs> Orange juice or water? Orange juice. Orange juice. Perfect. Thank you. So, Risha, what have you been up to since we last caught up with you? I opened another clinic in Chatsworth. It's doing very well. It's similar, but also very distinct for the community in Chatsworth. And then we opened a restaurant in Mshlanga, also very different kind of restaurant, the first of its kind in Mshlanga. So I'm very proud of that concept. And then we opened a smaller kind of baby restaurant of that one in town. And yes, a lot of importing of and exporting of products. We're always looking at something new and that's what I've been busy with. What inspired you to open your spas? When I relocated to Durban after my soap opera spiel in Johannesburg, I struggled to find a place that I felt was home in terms of beauty and relaxation. There was a, a niche in the market for something that had hair and makeup and body massage, anesthetics in one place. How would you describe your philosophy on beauty? For me, it's a sense of spiritual significance inside that makes one beautiful, that makes someone stay young. But in saying that, you also don't want to like run around like with your teeth falling out, your skin sagging. So you got to make an effort. What advice do you have for women and men out there who want to remain timeless in their appearance? I think food is a huge part of who you are. And if you get that right, that's half the journey. And then you can focus on cupping therapy or derma rolling or anything that you want to have to make yourself look and feel better. Do you think skincare is something you should start when you're young or can you wait until you're older? Preventative measures for me always work best. So you like grow old gracefully, like Sophia Loren kind of vibe, you know. What are some of the exciting new developments in aesthetic medicine? Aesthetic medicine has come so far and I love the fact that they've now created something for a woman like you and me. It's called non-invasive. And non-invasive everything is something that screams at me because I don't have time to take six weeks off to have like a deep chemical peel. So non-invasive for me is equipment that has now come out that will target areas that you can come in, have it at your lunch break, and out you go. What are some myths around aesthetic medicine that you'd like to bust? People don't do enough research. So they go off and they have a procedure, have a treatment, and it's often by someone who's not prepared or trained in those aspects. So once you do your research, you're equipped, you know about the treatment, you find out if the treatment has side effects, all of those things. Making sure that the person treating you has full accreditation. So for me, that's very important before you just trust your entire being to someone you don't know. Even an exquisite woman like you has that nasty voice in her head telling her she's just not good enough sometimes. How have you silenced that voice? After a long journey with myself, I've decided that I'm good enough for myself. And once you get that equation, then you're sorted. How have you come to that place of acceptance? You look for a deeper understanding of the meaning of life. The sense of spiritualism and knowing that there's a higher power and there's a higher energy and it's very positive and it's something that I'm drawn to, that has just helped ground me. And that's just been an amazing journey. Zach, I've made these gorgeous granola cups. You have to try them. That sounds divine. These look gorgeous. Okay, so what if you're super scared of needles? There's so many preventative measures that you can take now that does not require a needle or any sort of downtime where you're being prodded. So one of my favorite capsules that we've just launched is a stem cell capsule. And the way it's been designed is that it is anti-aging, it assists with cancer, it assists with renal lung failure. It goes from anti-aging to your worst case scenario. And for me, stem cells is the way of the future. Stem cells are here to stay. And really, really blessed to have like stumbled upon this product. And I'm super excited about the way forward. Sarisha, you are gorgeous inside and out. Thank you for the day. Thank you. <laughs> 
being able to remain relevant means that you really need to know who you are. Sarisha easily demonstrates this ability to remain timeless and she does it with style and grace.